Hey there, everyone. I'm Betsy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create what Zoom calls smart recordings. It's an easy way to automatically generate highlights, summaries, and even create Zoom clips from your recorded meetings. I'm going to walk you through how to enable the settings that are needed for smart recordings to work and automatically see where the highlights of key moments are stored so that you can edit them. If you want to get more out of your meetings, this video is definitely for you. Let's go take a look. So your smart recordings are located here inside the Zoom web portal at zoom.us. You can see here on the left side of the screen where it says recordings and transcripts. This is where your cloud recordings are stored. Now I'm going to take you all the way through how to get them here, how to make sure your Zoom meeting knows how to store them in the cloud. I'm going to explain all of that, but I want to show you what it looks like to have a smart recording first. So as I take you in here, I'm going to just zoom in a little bit closer. So as you can see here, when you are in your web portal, and logged into your account, and you're at the recordings and transcripts option, the right side of the screen shows you any cloud recordings that have been recorded and are still located in the cloud or ones that are currently processing. You see your live Zoom meetings and Zoom webinars can be recorded either locally to your computer or to the cloud. And when you start the recording in your live session, you get to choose where you want it recorded to. And best practice is to choose the cloud if you want this feature where it makes a smart recording. For instance, if we click on one of the cloud recordings that's already been processed, then it brings you to this second screen where you see the details. And the details start at the top with the name of the meeting. And then underneath there with the time and date, maybe the meeting ID. And then located under that are some analytics and statistics you can keep your recordings in the cloud and just share them out if you wanted to. And then you could see who's watched it and how much. You can also get your recordings out of the cloud just simply by downloading them. And you'll see that here with the download button. So you can remove them from the cloud, download a copy, and then if you wanted to, you could delete them as well. So all of these controls are located in here for all of your cloud recordings. When it comes to smart recordings though, you'll see here, look at that. It says, watch the highlights. So automatically for me, while I was in my live session and my recording was being processed, Zoom was taking good care to see which parts of the meeting were key moments. And it made those into highlights automatically. So when you click there on the button that says watch highlights, it brings you to this screen, which identifies for you, first of all, in the big player window, you can actually play that and just watch the highlights from your meeting, not watch the entire, let's say two hours or three hours. All of the highlights have been pulled out for you. And you see that here with a control located right there underneath the player bar. So with that turned on, you can watch this recording by just enjoying the highlights and you can share it that way too. So if you have people who attend your Zoom meetings and you want to share the replay with them, you can actually, by just having all of these highlights automatically generated for you, you can share out just the key moments. Pretty fascinating. Then on the right-hand side of the screen, is a clear listing of the transcript that was being generated. So in order for this to happen, there is a transcript that's being generated during the meeting. And I'm gonna get to that next. It's part of what's called AI Companion. It's a Zoom feature. And in order to use these highlights and smart recordings, you have to be using this part of the AI Companion. And don't worry, if you wanna know more about Zoom's smart assistant that we call AI Companion, just check out our video on AI Companion, and you'll find that here. Now, before I take you over to where these settings are, because you must enable them before your meeting starts in order to even have this ability, notice underneath the player window here, right here, it says save highlights. When you go ahead and click there, you get this window where you're prompted for a name for the recording, as well as whether you want to save them to Zoom clips. 
And you'll see that in a checkbox right below. And so when you say add to Zoom clips, these recordings are placed in the Zoom Clips area of your Zoom account. And if you wanna know more about Zoom Clips, we also have a video on that. You can check that out here. And then all you have to do here is click Save. And these highlights are automatically saved into your Zoom Clips area of your account. But none of this works for you unless you're sure that you have enabled the settings. Let's go take a look in that area of your account. So here we are in the section of your Zoom account. You can see there on the left-hand side where we're on settings. And then on the right-hand side of the screen, we are on the AI Companion tab. As you scroll down, this right-hand side of the screen now outlines for you many of the settings that go with AI Companion. And a lot of that has to do with other things that take place inside a meeting, not just your recordings. But in that sidebar there, if you click on recording or just scroll all the way down, you'll hit this section. Now you might be prompted with some messages that you can just click okay for now. Zoom has a tendency to tell you some of the settings that are brand new, but this section right in here where it says recording and then underneath there, it says smart recording with AI companion. You must have that switch on. It's lit up with blue so that you know it's on. If it's gray in color, then it's not on. If you want to enable it, you have to do that here. And you must do this before your meeting has even started. Underneath there, it gives you some extra options, which I advise you to turn on. It doesn't mean that you have to use these every time. You can turn them off when you have a meeting where you're not going to use it. However, if you're going to use this most of the time and you turn them on here, it'll be on automatically for you and you won't even have to think about it. So you can see here that in order to get those highlights, you must check off that box. And these little question mark icons do give you some of the information about the item. As you can see here, when this option is selected, meeting details in the audio transcript will be highlighted like we just saw. And as a host, you can modify those highlighted sections and generate a video summary. So those highlighted sections might have a three second offset based on those sections. We won't be getting into editing during this video, but if you leave me a comment below and just say edit, I'll send you some information pertaining to editing so that you can see how you can use your Zoom cloud to do just that. The other items underneath there, I would recommend you choosing, such as the summary and smart chapters. That gives you a way, especially with long meetings, to have chapter headings that give you the titles of each section. There are also next steps. So it will give you a summary of actions to take after the recorded meeting. And then you don't even have to take notes yourself about what was said. And then finally, there is a meeting coach, which will analyze how you're speaking during a meeting and how many filler words, let's say you use the rate at which you speak and whether you take the right amount of silence or pausing in between words. Now, as you scroll down on the screen, some of these other items might be something that you'll want as well based on the things that we've spoken about. There is a voice recorder with AI Companion, as well as the settings having to do with clips. And I would recommend you can see the settings that I have on here in your clips area. It can generate a title and description and tags with AI Companion. Now notice here that the setting is a lighter blue. And you can see as I position my pointer over there, it's almost like not letting me in there. You get that little circle with the line through it. What that indicates, and you can see that on the right side, it says locked by admin right there. When you see those items, you're alerted to the fact that these settings in your Zoom account are at both the user level, let's say that's the person hosting the meeting, as well as the admin, the administrator. And if you are both, like I am, I own my Zoom account, I pay the bill on my Zoom account, and I'm the only user. So there is a way to view just the administrator's settings. And to do that, you have to scroll all the way down on this left-hand sidebar until you see account management and then click that and you'll see some items underneath there and then click account settings.
Now you are in your account portal as the admin, and you're going to see a lot of the same settings. So when you scroll to that same section, we were looking at clips inside the AI companion area. Here it is there. Now this setting is lit up, meaning I can click on it. And so you see the little lock there beside it. I can click that to unlock that setting. Now, what does this mean to you when you see settings that are locked and unlocked? It just controls how you enable the settings on your account. If you have multiple user licenses on your pro account or business account or higher, you can make the settings the way you want them and then lock them as the admin. And then anyone else that is on your account with you, and you have to pay extra for those extra user licenses, they wouldn't be able to change those settings, only you. And so this gives you that admin level control. And so you see here generating the title, well, maybe I only wanted the chat chapters and I didn't want the title description and tags, I can remove that checkbox and then click save. And then only the chapters will be generated. So once your settings are enabled, now it's time to schedule your meeting and you do that. Well, you can do that in one of two places, but for this video, I'll just, we're in the web portal. So I'll show you from there. So you go to that meetings tab on the left-hand side. And then on the right, we have clicked on schedule a meeting to get to this point. And then at the top, you put your topic and the date and time. And as you scroll down, you'll notice this section, AI Companion. And so now, because you have enabled the settings that we did previously, you have the option here to say whether you want the meeting to automatically start with AI Companion. So this is a little bit extra to creating your smart recordings, because remember, your smart recordings are already set in the background. As long as you start your cloud recording, then you're good. But while the meeting's going on, you can use some more AI features and automatically start those meeting questions inside the meeting. You don't have to touch a thing, it automatically starts. And that will also generate a transcript. A little further down is this section for options. And if you're seeing on your screen, options has a show button right next to it, go ahead and click there. And that reveals this last section. And in this section are some other options that you can use while in your Zoom meeting. And in particular, you'll see here the setting that says automatically record your meeting. And when you have that checked, and then click on in the cloud. When your meeting starts, the cloud recording starts automatically and you don't have to touch a button. Just make sure here that you save your meeting. This meeting invite will go out and any of the settings that you have put in place will take place when the meeting starts. Now, before your meeting starts, make sure that when you go back to recordings and transcripts that you have not let your cloud fill up too much. You only get 10 gigabytes of space with a pro account. You can add on more space if you need, but you have to pay extra per month. And if you have recordings in there that you want to keep and you want to free up some space, just go in there and download them. And when they are downloaded completely, then you can come back in here and delete them and that will free up space. And then when you start your meeting and you are in here as the host, in your host toolbar, you will see the record button. If you don't see the record button, click on more and you'll notice here there's an option to record. Now we're recording right now as this video is being generated. So it says pause or stop, but yours will say start recording. And then you're going to pick cloud recording in order to get those smart recordings. And that's how you use Zoom's powerful AI feature called Smart Recordings. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more Zoom tips, tutorials, and smart tools to help you automate better online. And don't miss my free Zoom Mastery Checklist to help guide you on which AI settings to enable. Just head to the description in this video and you'll find the link waiting for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.